Hi guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. So today was my third day at work. And I think it's going to be my last day because I can't handle interacting with that many people, that many, that much people that consistently. It sucks all of my whatever energy, power, fuel, whatever I have to feel good normally. I, it gets sucked out and concentrated for when, for me to be upbeat at work. And then I get out of work and I'm down and anxiety ridden and depressed and I went through ECT to get to feeling good. I'm not going to sit there and ruin it with uh, working at this job. Um, I tried. I really did. I just, I, I can't. But, um, I did find out that I was the only guy working there. But, um, I just, the building is hot, so it's physically, I'm sweating all day, like, you can't tell, my shirt is soaked. Um, but, I tried, I, I did good, my, my cash register was never short, um, you know, I got along with the customers, I got along with my coworkers. I just had, sorry, I thought a light was on in the truck out there. I just, the anxiety and the depression is just so much, going back there, and I can't handle that much in-person people interaction. Um, like I said, I don't want to lose all the progress I made with ECT for this job. Um, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for the wait list for school for the career tech program because that is a career field where I'm not interacting with I mean, I have, I'll have co-workers, but I won't have to interact with the public all the time. And I won't have to um, be happy and chipper and helpful and whatnot. I mean, I'll have to be helpful, but, you know, I won't have to... I won't have to be Pollyanna. And I can't handle Poly being Pollyanna. I just, I don't have the energy... I, it takes, I get, it's like I get a certain amount of energy, a daily allowance, and I'm using my entire 24 hours worth of, worth of good in the time that I'm at work. So the time that outside of work, I don't have any good left, and I'm miserable, and I'm just not up for that. So, but anyway, this morning I finished my second Harry Potter washcloth for David. So this one is the ring. That's kind of hard to see. It's a little ring going around that way. And there's a little gem right there. So with that one done, so now I've got five more to go. But I got in the mail today ordered from eBay pom-pom makers you can how tiny this one is it's a cute little one make for little you know newborn pom-pom hats so but I've got that I've got some of I think this size these two sizes so I just but I wanted these two small ones and you can all you know it's never a bad idea to have extras so I got that and then my Annie's my replacement for Annie's the hook and needle club um, came in that was the the um the nesting baskets stash baskets and I'm curious because these kids it's the hook and needle club so I get the hook part 
I can I can see how you can crochet a basket because I've crocheted some baskets, but knitting a basket is intrigue intrigues me. And it says it's easy and it's got the instructions there for knit one. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to figure this one out. It's got approximately 160 yards of red bulky weight acrylic yarn and 140 yards each of a qual of, of aqua and top taupe bulky weight acrylic yarn. So it says I also need a size 6, 16 inch circular and double point needles set of 4 or size needed to obtain gauge. I'll have to look. I had some double point needles. I'll have to look to see what size they are. They may be well, they might be that size. Um, if not, I'll end up doing the crochet version. So. But I'm looking forward to getting started on this. At some point. But. Sorry about that. I'm super thirsty. So, but anyway, that is all I've got tonight. And I mean, it's almost 10:30 at night. It's like 10:20. So I'm going to try and keep this short. And I will see you guys tomorrow.